In this video, we are going to review how we do this strut and tie method on uh, Libridge concrete. Uh, the easiest way to review is with an already pre made example. We can access this in our tutorials, in program files, Bentley, and this is in particular tutorial number three. He loads the bridge. It goes directly to substructure because that example is just for that. Uh, we review the geometry is a hammerhead pier in which when we create this hammerhead pier either directly into the substructure or using the ABC wizard we need to check on the pier configuration and say that we want to activate the hammerhead option and also if it's a pile gap we can do that too here. Then just go straight to the on the material I'll we'll review that, but then on the strut model, this is how we review how this is done on the locations, but we have to concentrate right here. This is how we really build the strut and tie model into the, the hammerhead. Now, the center is assumed to be the center of the column, and this is where the corners start from 0, 0, x, and y. So point one is two to the right and 1.7 to the left so if we can modify this for example to make it very obvious I can just say modify this and either connect it graphically or I can say this is going to be three uh, this point is move right so send it back to the original position that's it now this is what defines the nodes location you know as I said based on the zero zero here now these lines the node connectivity is defined by these elements so for example element one is from one to element two right so if I want to connect it different, right, I can say, for example, modify or delete an option. So let's delete this connection, for example. Say delete. And now I can create a new connection. Again, coming back from 1 to 2. And then I add it. And it's restored, but then it's another restore with a different element. Now, also, on this stride and tie, this support is defined in point one there is one support and also in point 21 that defines the support of this strut model so saying that uh, we proceed with the loading or the, the loading it's done or the analysis we say that we don't want a frame model we need to run it with the strut and type model and just run the analysis now we generate the proper combinations and now we have the design and then we can proceed with the design of the cap and design of the column and so on and so forth but the analysis is done using the strut and type mode okay and this is how we build it from geometry you know and the actual model configuration or the strut model and then here the considerations of all these nodes 